Hello, welcome to today's Tasting Note. We're going to do an interesting wine today. Talk to, I don't, I, I, you talk So, uh, we're doing, so my, my, one of my pal uh, gifted me this. So, Bao Zhuang from China, uh, 2018, is, this is their first vintage mm -hmm. uh, from the Himalayan region, which mm -hmm. is extremely high altitude, mm -hmm. uh, between 2000 to 2450 uh, meters. And the vineyards are all like that, so it's yeah. really hard to work there. And uh, I've tried that once and uh, it blows my mind, so. Okay, cool. So, what great varieties? 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. Uh, so, um, the story behind this uh, winery is that, so it's, it's, uh, the founder of the winery is two brothers, um, uh, Chan Shi Xiong Di, so uh, Chan brothers. Mm -hmm. So they they come from a very very much wine loving family because they will really want to make some really really high quality like world class wine. It's it's almost like warmer year Bordeaux. It's got loads of big bold sort of I'm not going to say jammy fruit because that's not fair on it, but fruit. but but weightier, riper, bigger fruit. It's sort of blackberries, it's it's damsons, it's sort of really sort of dark purple cherries, that sort of thing. Uh, natural fruit sweetness to it. Yeah. Um there's there's the you have that sort of almost slightly compote like element. So it's just yeah. as you've started to heat through berries yeah, that comes exactly. through. But then it's not it's not heat through it enough to, to make it sort of candy. Like, no 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 it's not stewed it's, in any way. It's, 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 it's no, still no. very it's it's ripe, it's big, but yeah, it's yeah. it's really it's it's it sort of took, uh, as soon as it's gonna kind of step into that jammy spectrum, it, it took a it step holds back. It, it holds itself back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some savory elements. There's also a sort of uh, violety sort yeah, of it's perfume to really, it. Really, really violety. I remember um, uh, when I decanted for for like an uh, an hour. It doesn't taste that much Bordeaux. Uh, like right now, it tastes like uh, Bordeaux. But then mm. after that, it goes into that sort of almost Cabernet Franc, so sort of mm. uh, Loire Valley, or, or even some some Italian stuff that yeah. That, like super Tuscan. That's where I think the palette is a bit more. Yeah. I think the palette's a bit more in the super Tuscany Cabernet focusy type thing. The fruit is currently playing a bit of a of a sort of um, a background uh, to it, mm. but with time that tannin will subside. The the fruit will blossom a little bit more, get more sort of uh, dominant. Everything will settle out Ooh, wonderfully. Really, what sort of price roughly? So roughly. To to um so if I think for importers for it is one hundred fifty dollars per bottle. Yeah, you're Talking probably okay. Two 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 hundred ish plus. I think that's fair. I think fair hard yeah. because look at what else is available. It's coming into a, a into the European market. It's coming into something that's very. European and American dominant. Yeah. Even countries like Australia, South Africa, they can't hit at that price point. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that this isn't worth that. I just think it's the a competition. It's yeah, it's that competition. It's harder because you've got this domestic market. Yeah. But that applies to any country. Yeah. Since you go to the United States, there's tons of really expensive, yeah. um, um, you know, American wines. Well, let's say if you're a Chilean producer, you're going to have a lot of trouble getting into that market. It's it's a niche product within yeah. Europe, probably worth that money. It's got the quality there. It's it's warm yeah. left bank. Yeah. I'll give an example. When yeah. we tried 2003 Aubryon, it had that warmth of fruit that this has. Yeah. It also had the time to soften the tannins down and calm itself out because yeah. it was 20 years old. This yeah. is only, what, five? Um, but that's reminded me more of that than it is of a... Um, of a le of, of a right bank Merlot yeah. dominant wine, but it's brilliant. I like this. I mean, it's 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 certainly a niche thing, and it's going to be uh, a, a tricky one yeah, in the European market. Yeah. But if you're in China, get some.